you say I'm going to live comfortably. So what's the best advice for options? Because we would have passed that together. And I'll be there for the free food. Okay, so the main topic, okay, the main topic is about, um, well, it's a, it's a sore subject for myself. Obviously, for you, you're younger, so you're going through it um, in your own ways, and it's, it's basically what it's economically doing to a lot of people. How do you think this is um, affecting you first before we start saying it's affecting anyone else? We're going to be in a recession after this. Yeah. the way that they're like loaning money the way that the people are not working like the flights like obviously they're going to start north of the country and all the flights and everything and that's how we get our money from tourism through giving money even taxes they've stopped the taxes for this year I think I don't think you have to pay tax but, the, but, it's, that's but a self, it's obviously it's good but that's where they get their, a lot of money a lot of their money from I, I, I know um, but they've done it because okay so the mistake they made last time last recession um, point me out in the comments below if I'm wrong they gave to the banks in hoping the banks would then give back to the people so they gave to the banks in this which it makes sense regardless of if you felt wrong about doing this and in a lot of people did because in a, a lot of people's eyes you were given to the fat cats the people who put us in recession recession in the first place so they gave to the banks in belief that they will loan out to us, give us the support with a low interest, not low interest, but a good, a decent interest rate. So we could go buy, buy homes, buy houses to get the economy boosted and boosted again, start businesses and so on. They didn't. What they did is they took the government money, which is technically our money, our tax money, and then pulled the interest through the roof for everyone, made it hard to get loans, made it only part by a part share, even recently, just before, um, all this happened we even did this thing where you know you, I can't remember what it was exactly again leave the comments below because I know I've got one of the saving accounts um, but made it even the ISA, the ISA, the ISA accounts ISA and that stuff cool. and then got rid of that yeah. in my eyes we bailed you out like technically obviously we didn't the government did with our money and then you screwed us over so I think in this case naturally what they're thinking is is we're not going to do that again and this is where and this is going to sound mad I thank Boris for it. No, what do you mean? As in, like, are you being sarcastic? No, no, I actually thank for once he's doing something for us. He's doing something, but you know what don't make sense? I said it to you yesterday, maybe to my mum, but, like, when Boris Johnson and his crew turn around and say, yeah, we're going to give 330 billion to companies, nobody says anything. When Jeremy Corbyn was saying that, everyone was looking at him like he was mad and said, how, where's he going to get the money from? But all of a sudden... Oh, no, 100. Found the money 100. Out. No, 100. 100. But that's, that's for the... That's for the individuals. I was going to say something wrong, and, I, and I've been trying to say this, so I shouldn't say this, because this is what people say, like, people who are far right say about us, um, or our, our views. I was going to say they're stupid. That's what the stupid people did who voted for him, but they're not. Do you know what I mean? We yeah. shouldn't call them that, because that was a decision. Got their own view, yeah, their own I opinion. Like, but that's what they, they voted for. They voted for a person because they said they couldn't, they didn't believe in Jeremy, Jeremy Corbyn coming through of what he was saying. But now all of a sudden, it's now available. But they're but they're, they're not doing it because they're, they're saying that this is actually available. Because in a, in a, in hindsight, it's not. They're doing it because they know they're about to crash and they're going to go into recession. And for that reason alone, they need to do this to lay to um, unburden the the um, strain of the recession that we're going to come into. But the thing is, they're not dumb as well. They're doing it for like accountability as well because really and truly when it gets to the next election everyone's going to look at this crisis I'm going to vote for them like, if, they, if they get us they'll through get, this they'll get us through it though if they do but if they, they do I don't, no, 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 not if, I, no, I don't want to even hear any conspiracies in the future I don't want to hear no um, scandals I want to know that if they get us through this properly with, and they'll everyone win. got their money like, I'll win. vote for them again they'll win. Land because it proves win. that it proves that when it's shit sorry for my language shit, shit, shit they are willing to do what's required. Do you know what I mean? Because when we were in another recession and Ish hit the fan, if we're honest, Labour didn't do what they no, were meant no, to no, do. No, 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 no. With that, that's different because the Conservative government that was in before caused problems and then when Labour came in, they had to deal with the problems that Conservatives placed. Do you know what I mean? So how can you then blame but on then Labour? What, what Labour no, but what Labour did, problem. what Labour did is what, what conservatives, conservatives are doing right now. Even though conservatives yeah, said they weren't going to do it, Labour came in and then spent. So con that, that's what, and that's what conservatives then said. It was a reckless spending, is what put us into this. So it's your fault. Now, he's they're recklessly 
you could say reckless, but I think they're saving us. Because uh, this is what we wanted to hear. We yeah. wanted to hear this because we were getting pissed. And they finally today, um, I don't know what when you watch this, guys, but it's um, Friday the what? 20th. Friday the 20th of um, March. So the, m m the most recent um, uh, Prime Minister um, Boris Johnson's announcement today that came out, um, Rishi, um, our um, Chancellor of, of the Treasury of, of Money, um, again, comment below if I'm co incorrect on the right terms um, I've given him, has now announced um, more support to every single person. And he, and before even reporters can even ask questions, what about this? He actually covered everything. Obviously, I want to get up now so you can watch it, but um, maybe watch it in your own time. He's covered everyone. He's even said the parents who are on tax benefits are given an extra grand for the year for them. He says the people who are on universal credits. He said everyone who's self-employed now can apply for universal credits yeah. and he's going to add, add another extra grand on top. And they'll stop and then they'll have to, they'll and they'll have to pay tax till 2021. Yeah. He realises, and they all realise, realize that if they don't do this, it's not a case of just helping us because don't vote for us. The recession, because Trump's doing even bigger than that. Trump's off offered, I think what it is, like Trump. 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 <laughs> Trump. Trump's of Donald has, <laughs> I know by first name now, has um, um, offered 33 trillion. He's offered more. Yeah, because he's insane. Is it 33 trillion or 3 trillion? Whatever, it's a trillion. The fact that I've heard trillion, that is one, yeah, that's, that's one million, 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 billion. You don't even hear that number. That's you don't hear that number. He's giving trillion. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. But the thing is that that makes sense, yeah, because really and truly, this is not, it's not free money that they're giving us. We have to pay it back. Either way, there's going to be a very... No, 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 no. There's, there's a grant grants you have to pay back. back. But the things like the universal credit and stuff like that, we we'll keep it. Wait, so say for instance, yeah. Wait, what do you mean? No, no, I'm not saying that. But you know, like, the even like, you know, the, um, that loan, that 330 billion to the companies, how are they going to pay that back after three months? I mean, because they're only giving them... Well, billion. No, 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 no. The billion is all included. That's and plus, million. if we go deep on, on those numbers, when they say that, it's not actually that amount. They're saying, because by the fact that they're not letting charge us tax, they're including those in the prices. Trust me. These guys aren't like that. It's like when he said he's giving 8 million to the NHS. Or was it, uh, Again, comment below if I'm wrong. Um, 8 million or something, a few million to the NHS. And he's all oh, even... No, forget about that. When he's going to build hospitals... He's going to build six hospitals or something like that. Something stupid like that. We actually meant he was actually building only one or two and he's refurbishing at least four of them. So, oh, okay. so they're, they're, being, they're being smart about what they're saying. They're not actually giving us this money. They're, they're, what they're doing is probably half of it is basically um, tax, um, tax, what do you call it, like kill off for us, which will work out in what they lose out on. So that's what they're classing as the billions probably. I could be wrong again. Comment below if I'm wrong, but I don't like even doing this because I think I feel like Kevin Hart. Is it a bit? Yeah, yeah, but I get okay, that. Yeah, but that's what I believe it is. I don't think they're actually giving us a full on. For, and if I they are, even better. Like they're dealing with it well. But even like, do you know? Like I saw some girl. There was some Twitter friend, and she was like, she's obviously a student in uni, and then she works part time. Like, is she gonna get that money, or is she not? Because I work this is part what, time as well. And this is what everyone's saying. Like what makes you a, like someone like, how you know, like and, and how can we get it? Like yeah. I don't, I, I purposely make sure um, I, I've never found myself as a self-employed person claiming for VAT. Now they're saying they're doing VAT, um, like okay. wiping off VAT for the year. I'm like, oh, that would have helped me out. But the reason I do, don't do VAT is because how much I don't want to charge people. Because as a dancer, as a dance choreographer, so people who dance choreographer, dancers in general, we charge a certain amount. And the majority of the amount we charge, I think is under. I don't think we charge enough as much as we should. But the, the most smallest amount I know, even for my age people, is about 30 quid. Um, maybe even 25 for some. Um, phone is my phone. I don't know that. Um, but in general, it's on that one, on the iPad. It's on the phone, there. No, no, yeah, it's on the phone. Is it still recording there? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, the most the most I know is about twenty five quid or whatever. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, we never add VAT, VAT on it. We should, because we can claim back from that VAT, but we don't because it scares people. Because normally normally shops do that to you. You know, it says it's eight ninety nine, then you get to the last bit and then you see VAT, VAT and you're like, ah. yeah. 
we, we don't do that as dance, dance, dancers or self-employed people and within the industry and, and many people don't do that not just dancers, musicians, um, even yourself like you're learning to be a lawyer so, well, some lawyers do quite a lot I know a few like Ed's sister and stuff but from what I know most people don't like to add that on because it scares people away especially if you're individually self-employed if you've got a big company it's different you add the VAT you want to claim for that damn sugar but as an individual you don't want it because it scares people off now you're being told that it could have been written off and you think that could have supported you because you've got to remember that 25 quid how much percent of that is it's really got 38% 30 40% I can't do most yeah but you know what I'm saying that, that's, that's what I'm saying I'm saying it's 40% the max normally it's actually if you only earn um, about 50 grand or something like that or 30 grand a year but I'm just going to say the max right now I'm not 100% sure if, it, if it's 35 I think it's 35 but let's go to the max 40 Forty percent of your of your twenty five quid, if we calculate it, whatever we calculate, how, how much that's so minute by the end of it, it's hard as it is for a dancer or, or any f- freelancer. Do you understand? Um, depending on how much you charge. So moving forward, right now, all these little things they're giving actually just relaxes people. So when you start working again and you start getting the jobs again, that will make up for what you've lost. Because that was my biggest thing I said to everyone. Because when everyone was saying, ah. Oh, when we get, um, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get work again. I said, that's not the problem. Yeah, that's what I'm the problem no, is, is what you've missed out on now. Even if you get it later on, you've missed out on three months worth of work. That's what I'm saying. Everybody who got like, say, you know, like everyone who got, you know, the version media people or whoever, when they got like two months unpaid and like people who are like, um, virgin flight people. people. Yeah. yeah. So when this whole thing is over, obviously it's gonna end at some point. Are they gonna get their jobs back or are they gonna like, what, that was, what happens that was, to them? That was the main thing. Like, I was worried about that. The people not just know what they're the going to do. Like. People are just losing their jobs in the front and center. I'm just like, yeah. Well, as Small a, businesses are getting virgin. A, why, how how a, dare they? How do you not have money to give people? How dare they? There's a billion. You're going to need to like employ it again. So That's what I'm saying. So how can you make people redundant? And, and then, then I'm just like, bro, like, as I said, why are you? Why is people sacking? Yeah, that don't make sense. Like, you don't. Small companies, I understand. No, but small companies, fine. You're a big virgin flash. You've got virgin yeah. media, virgin TV, whatever they've got. How can you be... Like, you're so... How can you not afford it? Yeah, you're so... Like, Richard Branson saying. himself, like... Oh, why not? Yeah, why not use his own... own Three money, months. The dividends money he gets from it all and then puts it into... And then help the people out. I see people like Cristiano Ronaldo help support people, support people. I heard. I don't know. Allegedly, I don't know. Yeah. But, like, I've heard Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo yeah. is there yeah. turning yeah. hotels into hospitals and, you know, and uses his money to pay wages. What about the NBA star yeah, guy? Yeah, I was going to say, the yeah. NBA, they're paying for all the people who it's work in the NBA or them. NFL, one of those guys. People yeah. who work in the stadium, they're paying for And paying for the thing. Yeah. yeah, so why can't you, Boris? I'm not Boris. I was going to call you Boris. Um, Richard, Richard Branson. Richard, yeah. Like, yo, you hear your company's in trouble. So you're caring about yourself. But then I guess that's why he's a billionaire. That's true. Yeah, but how is his company in trouble, though? That's what I don't get. His company's not in trouble. But what he's doing, he knows that he uses... How they share the wages out is based on... Um, their flight so everything is accounted to and everything is streamlined to certain things so everyone's wages is streamlined from the, the plane stuff and everything yeah, it's just it's enough. not just we was all we make and now we just spread it out oh, yeah, yeah. it's like this money plane stuff whatever they do is for these people and this is for this and obviously because that's screwed over you're screwed over do you know what I mean but my thing is is okay cool step in and support those people yeah, do you know what I mean people are not going to want to work for those companies in it like in the and they always do though. Disney, I think I've heard, I've heard Disney is still paying people. That's good. And Disney apparently is one of the worst people you can work with. They're, they do not support their staff. They're on zero hour contracts. And those people are what keeps that 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 park alive. Yeah. The people in the big costumes and that stuff. Oh, you talk about Disney, Disney World. Disneyland, yeah, Disney World, Disneyland, Disneyland, all that stuff. Disneyland, but apparently Bob Iger and all those people who are in, like the CEOs of it have said no. We're going to make sure that, because it's not their fault. Yeah. And then only the, the worst was with sick pay and all that stuff. So I think overall, I mean, I'm glad we've done this podcast. I think we've done this one day before. We've been cussing right now. We've been saying, what are they doing for the, the scene? But I think my next question I'll say to you is, is, do you think, regardless of all this support, I'm already hearing about people, um, what's the word? Closing dance schools and dance companies down. Do you think this is going to affect the dance scene majorly? You know, just dance entertainment scene. Do you think it's going to affect it majorly? I don't think so. But I feel like it's right now. It's just sticky because dancers, like if that's their career, that's the only sort of income. When they're closing down all these festivals and stuff, that's how some dancers are getting paid. This is, this is certain people's income. Like, yeah. As I said, like, I'm not even like the only person. But there's obviously been jobs that we've been doing, and that's coming up as well. Scheduled. Like, I'm not even smooth stuff that's coming up. 
because you know obviously April's when festival season starts, people start looking into productions and whatnot because that's when like weather's better, everyone's going out more. I've been missing out on that now. So it's just like, well, what the hell am I gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Plus then as well as that, if it does last until maybe June, July, that's that's a time like where all of that stuff, that's learning, like so many things that you can take from that. You know what I'm saying? Like the experience and everything. Like that could help like, boost your career as a whole. And like now you're gonna miss out on that. I feel like after it's done, things are gonna look like normal. Like with dance I don't feel like this this is not gonna happen and then they're gonna open up again and no one goes back to them. Like the same dance just all gonna go back to them. Some companies but some no, companies the biggest yeah. their biggest issues is rent. And people with studios that have to pay the rent. I mean obviously this we obviously we're gonna have to see in the next few weeks. Um, how the government's going to make sure that the because they've, 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 they have atoned for everyone if that's the right term for every single sector they even talked about the rent people who charge rent yeah. we're going to support you we're going to and they've actually said the pride not just saying we'll support you they've actually said this is what you're going to do and they've said now you'll go HMRC so they've even given us a, a place to go but some of these companies are like because you know what it is everyone's very each for their own yeah. so people are kind of like yeah, I know you're saying that. But I'm still gonna fire everyone because I need to fight. Do you know what I mean? And you know what's the worst bit? We're gonna get some people still claim for that money, even though they just fired everyone. It's true. And, and this, just, this is what makes it hard for the government. It's just selfishness. Like, you know, Sometimes some of it's actually too late because some people actually firing people from what earlier this week or even last week, and another one thing's come out is like what's the next thing? And what's mad? But in, uh, hopefully we now change our views on the government. Because half the reason why people did this was because they were like, I don't trust the government. Because we've had these little, they promise, promises, promises. This time they've promised and they've actually seen, well, we're so far from what, so, so it, far it's from gone to the next level of no, through. We haven't really seen much. Like, they've no, we said, haven't they've seen said what yet. they're going to do. They haven't done it yet. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, no, yeah. but what I mean is, normally when they say something, we never hear it materialise. Now we're actually saying, they're saying, this is where you're going and this is what we're going to do. do you know I, mean? I feel like that because I feel, I feel like they have to cover themselves because it's not even like, like a, a small sector of people that's going through this. This is the whole. This, this is whole bro, world. This like, like, it's not even just. This is a world versus well. situation. This is a national situation. Like everyone's being affected now. Here, you know what I'm saying? Maybe not as much as like other cities and whatnot, because they may not even close down like, to the severity of like us in London. But like, everyone's being some, uh, affected some some way and somehow because you know people have their, um, their retailers in London. You know stuff like that. Like all of that. The basis is obviously in London. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's obviously very ignorant to say, but we are like the heart of like the United Kingdom. We are, let's be honest. So slightly the like one of the many hearts of the world. Well, exactly yeah. true. Like everyone knows if people say that if they know you come from like England, like, they're gonna say London straight away. Yeah, that's the first thing people think. Like, people say that straight away, like, you know what I'm saying? Even yeah. Europe, people say, Oh, I wanna to go to Europe, I wanna go to London. It's true. I, I don't know you know it is for me right now like I do think some companies will struggle to come back from this because I, I feel you what you got to remember is even if they get those people back it's not the people losing is it it's the rent stuff and everything so when you get those people back you're only getting the money you get for that month meaning you've got to try and cover the last three months how are you going to make unless you they you double in um, attendees all those people decide to say like I am these in our case we're different because obviously we're subscription based being subscription basis, I, I'm so glad I kept that model. You are not paying for the say classes, you're paying to be part of a group that have these um, extras. Yeah. These extras, are, yeah, these, it's dance, and this is what we do with dance. And if you say, yo, I wanna cancel my membership, it's no different than saying I wanna cancel my gym membership. It's not, a, it's not based on, we need to offer you 20 classes, we offer 20 classes. If you don't turn up to 20 classes, that's your choice. We don't make a thing about it, but um, some companies, it's, it's a very different model. And those are the companies I'm seeing that are panicking and struggling because they're like, but then you know what? I done told everyone digital was the way to go forward. I've said it for time. Do you know what I mean? Like, the amount of times I even say to um, the youth, like, yo, you can learn online. I turn around and say to people, like, yo, like even in IMD, I say people, we have online videos. That's what you get. I think people took it like, we have a membership, um, um, tier and one of the memberships and the higher membership the gold one like it, the gold one which is the highest one which people took for granted is have taken for granted and hopefully won't continue to take for granted was having online 
rehearsals and online tutor and um, tutorial lessons um, to support them in continuing the learning outside of the actual class and many people didn't really watch it and now all of a sudden it's like and then you got the people who were kind of on a certain level who were kind of laughing and joking at it, like Haha, I ain't doing that I ain't, I ain't getting a no, no gold level now now you're like oh itch and then you got some of the dance I mean I don't know you got some people in the dance scene that are mitching about it um, like and talking about it I'm like yo I've said from time we should be we we'll understand that we live in a different time I'm not to say it's true but I, I, I feel for both, from both sides you know what I'm saying because at the end of the day there's, there's people that's in the dance scene that hate the social media stuff when it comes to the when it comes to dance it's yeah but you dancing. hate you like, know it is because of this like as they call it sometimes this is not obviously saying this is exactly what it is but it's um, what do they say um, this microwave like, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah but I'm, how quick you can just be on social media do a couple things and then boom, you're like, gone you, yeah you get to the top and then everyone's obviously looking at you at the top yeah. and meanwhile there's people that's been cooking in the kitchen Time. Yeah, but then you can be cooking in a kitchen, kitchen for time. But what have you actually been cooking? No, no, it's true. It's true. Man. I do. I definitely hear that. No, but then obviously, like people have different, like, like different type of ways. Like not everyone's, not everyone on social media is. Um, you get me that quick person that just jumps on the bandwagon. Yeah, but you have to keep up with the time. So if, it's, if your lesson's not working and it goes back to the whole learning thing, then you learn about what is working. This is what I do all the time. See what things are working. Then you, you, what's that thing called? Um, yeah, you adapt, and then that's how you grow. So you think, oh, that person's jumped on the bag and got to the top. Then you might have to do a little jump on the bag to get to the top. Then after, when everyone wants to watch the stuff or whatever, whatever, then do it then. My, okay, my thing is, you know what, my thing with, with the scene, this wasn't, this wasn't unseen. This was a long time coming. What, as in like digital? That we were going to be in a situation where we had to understand that using the formalities of um, the digital, um, what do you call it, digital platform to progress further. And we've been avoiding it because we want to keep on saying that the dance that we do is a social type of dance and it is but to a niche a niche type of people yeah. just now we forget that even though the dance world is a small is a small world we don't realise how actually small it is and how connected we are there is billions of people on this planet billions and a lot of those people would tap into the dance world if they were able to with the new technology we have now go online and they would learn from home. They don't want to go to class. They don't want to go all the way to Studio 68, base. They're embarrassed. Yeah, they want to learn from home. It's actually just like anxiety. Like you don't want to go to a class because you're just nervous. I, I saw in Olivia's thing, um, some people dancing that I, I have never, the type of people I've never seen in the studio. You always get the people that never go to class, but get brave. And, he, I always, and those people, even those people I recognize, them type of people, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I think if people did like, I don't know if I'm just but if people did like online classes and like you say like you had like a weekly subscription or monthly subscription and you do there's a class every week online, you'd actually make more money. More. Like there were yeah, them, yeah. I'm not gonna obviously say names, but I watched them someone's class the other day, they did like a live Instagram feed and did the class. There's like two hundred and fifty people in there. If that was on a subscription, you're making more money than doing the class at whatever studio. Yeah, yeah. It's just because that people can't be bothered to put their material out there. Because people look at it, you gotta remember. In that way. Um like you got to look at it. people look at some things like that let's say for example and then they'll say yeah but them 250 people in a class in a class yeah on the live yeah watching it on a live if you monetize that no, that 250 pound no, but if you monetize it and put that to a fi- um, five pounds not ten pounds but five pounds yeah. um that's um sorry my maths is well off that's just over a grand yeah. you made yeah, over a grand video, yeah. over one video but normally that 250 pounds gets cut chopped and you can't get 250 people in a room unless you're doing like what I've done when there's big workshops and you know like weekenders but most times your biggest biggest you're going to get into a room at most pushing it is about 70 maybe 100 can you really learn it with 100 people in a room and the thing that's what's good about online though is that some people who will be paying for the subscription may not even be dancing they may just want to watch you teach and you're, and you're getting money and, and it's revenue or something 
they're still paying it's still revenue watching. and it's what, it's what I said some people just like to watch dance not necessarily they want to dance but some people just like to watch and have that option yeah because I remember when the twins came down about um, seven years ago eight years ago they had tickets to dance spectators. and for people to spectate as a come just watch them while they were teaching us people pay for it we've had people do that you know that people just used to follow us around yeah like, follow us and just sit there and watch yeah but that's this yeah, is my yeah. point like I've had birthday things we were gone for their birthday can they come and just be in an IMD rehearsal and I was like yeah I haven't even charged them but maybe I should have but I was like yeah like because I mean this is what I'm saying the dance world this is what okay because now we're not going off side we're still on a corona thing but what pisses me off when I hear people say there's no money in dance, there's money in dance. There's money in dance. They just you don't just know how know. to squeeze it out. And everyone's doing the same thing. Yeah, as I this said, is this, why. And this is what I said to you last night. But then, and as I said, especially, for me, I feel like I'm not going down this road. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Because as, as I said, it gets crowded. Everyone's doing the same thing. Everyone's, yeah. everyone's down same the same thing. road. You're I need to do better. 100 auditions, try and get a British video. You're doing this. Yeah, same Stormzy video, same thingy. Bro, same I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm just like, same style, yeah, same everything. It's not even like, it's not even like, you can even go for like, lower, um, not even lower, less um, known artists that can go to their auditions, or you can even hit them up on social media, yeah? and they could probably pay the same rate or even more than others because maybe they're less, you never know what their budget is. Well, look just at, because they're a smaller artist, it what, what I told like, you just about Craigslist. In, yeah, in, you, yeah, in, in, yeah. The, in the US, like their first thing on credit. I don't know if it's the UK, but it's like, um, was it Fiverr? It's called Five or High Five. Five is where it's another kind of freelance place where you just put your skills down. You could be good at um, um, acting, good voice actors, all that stuff. You could have um, you act for uh, was it hands, feet actors, and all that stuff. So there's all that. It's like everything. You name it. Um, you're good at lighting. Anyway, so it's like a basically freelancer uh, page. And one of the things in the Craigslist they talk about is that you get yourself out there for to. Um, and you take those little jobs where you learn not just about what you do right but what you also do wrong the mistakes you make it's also the connections you make because for all you know right now someone's cousin who is best um, someone's cousin who is best friend with the producer of Zack Snyder who's looking for a choreographer you're working on their video instead of working on the bait videos that everyone's trying to work on now don't get wrong it was a reverse that could happen on there but the problem is I feel is that everyone's trying to go through the same thing um, which long run when you think a deep hit, it's so saturated that it becomes a niche little place where only certain people always get their jobs. With every like, now and then, one or two like God. Especially if it's a group, it's only gonna be that like, main person. In the group. Yeah, like, like the group of the group R.I.P. Rob Anker. Take. Like R.I.P. He, he always got the jobs, and he was told me like they called him the old. Job. He always got it. We were talking. I remember we were talking X Factor, and he was like, I saw Barry's baby people trying to audition for this job. Like, we just certainly we just get the call because we cause they know what they want. Yeah. So, so what I feel is people need to understand, yo, there's money in clothes of dance. There's money, like obviously you're starting to be a lawyer. There is no lawyers in the dance scene. Do you know how much money you got if you open up a firm from home, online firm, and say, yo, I'm going, I, I'm going for represent. dancers. I will represent you in any situation. You pay subscription fee of um, 40 pounds a month. No, even if you try and push it like 50 pounds a month, that means any situation I'll cover up to the worth of an equivalent of this amount. Now the reason that's how insurance companies work, because insurance companies bet on the fact that you actually aren't going to be able to, and they also have obviously the government to support them with money, but you're not necessarily going to be making any insurance claims. And every time you got to think about it, look how many millions of people make insurance claims for flying for all that stuff. It's true. Right? And then what they do, they put that money in an investment sort of area which doubles itself and all that stuff. Do you get what I'm saying? So you as a lawyer, you're getting you get you're getting hired by all of us because we never know when we need a lawyer to step in and say, yo. You can't pay me just a hundred pounds for that session. You got to pay them the correct fee. I send a paper. People get scared. The industry don't f about. So it's my language with us no more. And you're making money. So we need lawyers in the, in the place. We need doctors. We need um, what's it called? Therapists to get us back from injuries. We need um, marketers, dance marketers, because filmographers, all of that. There's money in the scene. No, no, but the thing is, bro, there's, there's, there is, there is this. But you know what? You know what it is. People don't want to. Uh, people don't want to push it, as I said, because they end up seeing someone else doing. I feel like this is what I feel like. Someone else, they end up seeing someone else doing this and that. Bro, I could do this. Yeah, that's, I could do that. that's what I'm saying. Bro, they're both doing the same thing. That's, that's what I'm saying. But as me, and as a person, like, as me, exactly. if you see me, I don't, I really don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to stop. Yeah, go and carry on. I've got that side of film, film as well. Yeah, go and carry on. Yeah, I, re- I really don't follow what everyone else is doing, bro. 
you know what I'm saying? So if there's certain things, like obviously, for instance, I'm a part of Boy Band Entertainment, and then like certain stuff like Black, White, Grey, or The Five, or even Red Fam, everyone's going like, oh, so why didn't you audition? How do you know that is not like down to me? How do you know that I don't want to audition? Yeah. How do you know that's something that I don't want to do? Yeah. Just because I'm part of the company doesn't mean that this is cool. what I really want to do. This is going to be like my being on the end of it. Like yeah. For me, for instance, like stuff like producing stuff, um, when it comes to like even the tech, the technical side of stuff as well, and then sometimes um, using my dance and using my knowledge from those to help get the youth into tr- um, out of trouble yeah, yeah. and into a safer space, which yeah. is obviously what happened to me, and I've used that um, to get out of certain situations, then that's that's what I'm about because I'm just like, there's too many people going down the same road. I'm just like, but you can but, do yeah. this and you can do but that. Bro, bro, it's not, it's, it's, not, it's not just the same road. They go down the same road, it don't work, and then they quit. It's true. They quit. They go, there's no money in dance. I quit. And it's like, no, 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 there was. You just didn't. What you was doing right there and then may not be making you money, but what it was doing, it was aiding you to understand how the scene is, to make you realize there's a gap in the market, to make you also under, have a better understanding. Because now you come from a place where you get what dancers need. So if you are like what you in your in your place where you want to work, you also have been in that world. So now when you decide to to do this or open opportunities, you actually know because no one's better at dance um, dance filming than a dancer. The reason why my videos bang over certain people is because I'm a dancer, so I know how dancers need to be filmed. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? That's why we get sometimes we get some ish. No one's better than even, even yourselves. Like when you do your own, like you do your freestyles, you know where the camera needs to be because you're a dancer. Give it that to someone who's not a dancer. They don't know. Even like when I filmed you with your thing, remember what was it called? Your heels thing with, with like a normal phone, and I was messing around with it. Imagine a normal person just doing that. Well, they think to do that. No, they don't because they're not in the dark seat. They don't get what we need in this world. Do you get what I'm saying? So this is the reason why I say to people like, it's not a case of um, no, you start off to being a dancing by straight off being a nurse. But if by doing a dance world, having experience in it, and then going to wherever you need to go next, your next path, you come back into a world and you can still go back to dance after you finish whatever you need to do. And then realize, yo, this is what the scene needs right now. It don't need another person trying to um, audition for a Brit Awards. But the problem is at the same time, which I do understand from another point of view, when you start dance, that's the big goal, isn't it? Yeah, that's the big goal. Yeah, like, that's, that's, that's I don't the, get why no, that's no, the goal. No. Like, that's, I'm never, that's never because you know why you say that? that? Maybe you're different, Mally, but used to. Plus me, we've already experienced the other world. No, it's true, it's true. Diva, we've been on TV for We've been on the TV, what, 13, so we years. know it's overrated. So we're not overrated over it. Just, but yeah. I just don't think, like, I just feel like there's only... I don't know, okay, maybe I'm wrong, but you know, like, with the money thing, like, people talk about the money thing. You get paid for that job, you know what I mean? And then what, you have to re-audition and blah, 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 blah to get more jobs. This is why I like my social media, because I build up a revenue of people who want need to do their videos because they see other people pay me for videos and then they just keep coming back to me. Do you know what I mean? It's creating a platform, but but this is what I'm saying, and this which which goes back to what I'm saying about this COVID 19 situation, the disease. Because all of a sudden, all these people that were given like the dancing needs to be about love, and and I'm again, I'm not trying to out people, but like getting upset, you know what I mean? Like getting like getting getting catchy feelings about people on social media and dancing. You need to be in a studio. Okay, we're out of studio now, and now you're putting up freaking posts about um, one love freelancers. Let's stay true together. And I'm like, yo, okay. Then you're getting upset. I saw some little arguments. Um, like, I don't like the fact that people are putting online videos and everything. I'm like, yo. So what are you supposed to do then? They need to eat. Everyone what are you supposed to do? Everyone needs their bread. Actually, their income. Like, that's what are you supposed to do? So they're going to find another. There's people who say that who don't know how to make themselves pop on social media. Yeah, yeah that's only because there's people that they're hating and they don't know what to do. And then when you see other, someone else do it, they're like, why are you doing that? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. True. And then you've got to think about the people that do all the stuff that they do anyway. And they're, they're really scraping about it. You get know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're, you're seeing them do this class, taking um, taking this class, and even um, giving workshops and doing this, and they're still scraping the barrel. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie, there's a lot of people that I've seen that are working 24 7, and they're still like, fam, I can't stop, bro. I can't stop because I still got to make ends meet. I got children, I got kids, I got rent to pay, I got um, taxes to pay, I got to pay for my health care, all of this, all of that. Like, like just that life, innit? You get yeah, me? You yeah. still got loads of things to pay for. I feel like people always think that, like, dancing or like musical film, all of that is the easy route. It's actually really not. It's easy to go to uni and just do something. It's very easy to do that. But actually, being in a film, like, industry, like, dance or like, musical film and stuff. 
feel like it's much much harder than what people. No, no, yeah, no, it's true. I, I feel like any any physical any any physical like profession is always going to be hard because you know why. Um, in order for you to even get considered, fam, you got to give a hundred or nothing. Obviously, in America, when it comes to the NFL and the NBA, and even us when it comes to football, fam, bro, everyone plays ball. But the amount of people that blow, you got to look at it, count up every single player, of every single team worldwide, fam. It's, it's like this compared to how many people every, there are. Everybody like, plays football. That, as someone said to me here, like, playing basketball here, you're a big fish in a small pond, that's enough a situation. You go to America, you're a small fish in a massive pond bro so just because you're good here doesn't mean that you're good over there mm-hmm, you can, mm-hmm. like yeah, but and that's like things, even like that's like with dance as well because when you go to hhi and you see oh, them dancers you're like oh, oh but man. then but then these people auditioning for brit awards are the same people that don't think that they're like oh you know what i've had conversations with these same people who are like auditioning for brits and auditions and they think they're working but then they wouldn't they didn't appreciate like our seventh place or whatever it is when we went there then no one's realizing how hard it actually you don't is. Realize, you don't realize. Like, yeah, like, you don't realize. 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 You don't it's different. Like even when we was up in HHI once in a when we was stepping up, my anxiety was spiking. I was thinking, yeah, 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 these guys. Are I wish you was there with me last good. year, because last year it was. You know what the next level of that last year was? We finally had. You know, every year we had an excuse to why we may not be. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. it was either parents were mitching all the time, yeah. so they were making half us to do rehearsals, so saying they can't bring their kids over, or it was this, it was that, or we didn't have the full crew that was going. Yeah. Last year was a felt one time where we. We had the best collab, which you didn't with us. We had the best um, squad. There was a crew in every category. We had the best mega crew. So the fact that we did so well, that we got one team to the finals, one team needed to the finals, and beat some of the biggest teams in, in the world, it was kind of like, yeah, this yeah. shows you. And that wasn't even one of our best, and that wasn't even our best, and with our best, best dancers. It shows you the people that look down upon it, that, yo, you should fear IMD sometimes. It's mad hard. hard. It's but so which leads me to the next well, thing of HHI and other world um, competition oh, because the coronavirus oh. is going to affect all these. It's Sorry. already moved the Euros football, the football to next year. Well, like HHI is going to be moved, you know, like. I don't think they haven't moved it so far. That's the reason why, and they haven't moved. That's why UDO and HHI haven't moved because a lot, of, a lot of the things that was happening in August, Carnival and that stuff, they haven't moved for the reason being that no Tokyo, especially the biggest one, that's haven't that's moved. That's so they're kind of like, that's the worst place, obviously one of the one of the worst places that was affected as well, Korea was after China, but Tokyo also, and um, Japan, sorry. Um, they're, so they're doing, the, they're, they're leading their model off that because obviously in hindsight, once we go back to normal, even at the longest of time, it still doesn't fall into July or June. Yeah, yeah that's so, so because of that, for that reason alone, they're not moving. The only reason why Euros have moved is because of the football having to resume. So when the football resumes, the Premier League resumes and the um, Champions League and that stuff, it, it is backtracking. So then it, technically, let's say as soon as they finish, t- in hindsight, if the Euros are still going on, it would be Euros the next week. No time to train, nothing. Have a bit of rest, get back into it. So they were like, you know what, let's move it forward. But that's what they like, HHI as well. What if a business lasts until like, what, July? But if it does, how are they going to now come and say, like, yeah, everyone can travel? What are crews actually going to do? Yeah, money wise. Even, not even, okay, money wise, that's a problem as well, but the set, what are they actually supposed to do? Well, it's not that some people haven't done their qualifiers yet. Yeah, so yeah, people haven't. Oh, yeah, because the USA qualifiers are qualified there. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, this is the the, the coronavirus has affected. It's, it's, this is what I'm trying to say to everyone. Coronavirus isn't that necessarily affect. Like, it's kind of given the world a break. Yeah, it's yeah. given opportunities. Like, even like little things like this. Even time we've all spent with each other like this that we never yeah, really would have spent. Unless it's like Christmas. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you do take it, 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 stuff for granted. It's, and you it's, it's given us these opportunities. Yeah, like, I, no, mean, I don't want. It, I don't want us to have these opportunities, and that be the um, reason. reason. To go no, 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 no. But then, obviously, yeah. this. But then. Everyone says this all the time, and we get these moments, and something happens, and everyone's like, we need more of this stuff, but we don't do it. You know Every saying? time like, someone we've dies. Had, we've, oh, exactly, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. I don't know. Obviously, we've lost a couple of people in the season in the last couple of years, and um, people's obviously passed away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
lost them. It was like, okay, yeah, guys, we got to get together and do this more. Some people do it, don't get me wrong, but then it's just like, everyone's like, yeah, yeah, we need to do it. I think it's cool. so hard. Then it's just literally like, back to life. Yeah. No, but no, but then I feel like, as we said, young people. as no, as we said, it's because everyone lives out like, too much of a fast pace. Yeah. It's a good and a very bad thing at the same time. But it's if a very life good doesn't keep going on, thing. then what are you gonna do? No, no, no. It's not. It's not even about life. Like keep going on. You get what I'm saying? Because you, sometimes you need a you need a moment to reflect in life. I'm like, cool. Let me chill. Let me see what I've got to do. Because at the at the same time, um, you can be overwhelmed by how good you're doing or how bad you do it, it can actually cloud your tunnel vision and be like, okay, damn, I need to do this so much. Not even realising that you may be brushing off your mum, you might not even see your family anymore, you might be getting stressed and then your health is falling off because you're too, you're too tunnel vision. That's why sometimes it's okay. Take, take a moment to breathe. See what we've done and acknowledge what we've done because progression is better than anything else. You know what I'm saying? Because before you need to realise that before you actually get to the end goal, you moving a step forward is a understand that. I think you're right, you're one hundred about that. Even myself, like it's made me, it's kicked me up the ass with these type of videos. I've been saying for a time, I'm like, and I was, I was, I would don't get me wrong, I was a little bit pissed when I saw. Obviously, we, I've got big ideas, um, and I haven't shared it with you. I've shared it with some people. Maybe I've said it with you, but like with an online system, also for dance and all that stuff. But not just dance, but within the entertainment world of. Of dance being the main subject, lights dead. Um, did we lose light? Yeah, we did. We lost a little bit of light. But yeah, I'll change the battery in a second. But um, one of the number one things for me was creating a platform that helps us all out. Diversity has been I've done it, and I'm like, sick, well done. Like, but I was burning. I was like, oh, I've had this idea for like five, six years, and I diversity did it. So they just came out in the right time. I don't know if it was because of the corona thing, but. They just came out of the right, and obviously Steezy's already there in America. Then you've got Tim M M McGrill, or whatever his name is. He's already done it. All the beats does it. It, it, it does, but then you notice it's more America and diversity, which leads me to that thing of we've always felt, I always feel like we're a little bit behind. And I'm going to go change the battery because we've only got um, four minutes left of the filming. And I'll let you continue talking. But I do feel this has kicked me up the ass. This has made me go. I should, I should, like downstairs, half the room is, is now done. I'm now adding more phone. I'll get another phone stuff for the flooring. I don't think I would have done. I would, you know what I've done today? Today what? What today? Friday. Some rehearsals. Yeah, for tomorrow rehearsals. I've had a bit more time to even fix up by lighting, get cameras, set up my mics, find out about the equipment I've got, set it out a little bit, even look at the house a little bit more. I even cleaned the floor today for the first time in freaking months. Last time was Christmas. Do you know what I mean? Like. There's things that I wasn't even doing. Even having more, I've had more communication on, on the phone with people. I don't think we're unorganized. We I don't want. Like we have like a process. That we just keep going. How are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 Yeah, I'll let you carry on talking when we get the camera. Um, yeah, that's what like, you literally just said, isn't it? Keep moving, yeah, keep moving forward. Keep it moving forward. Obviously, it's a good thing. It's a bad thing at the same time. I feel like, in hindsight, it's like, you think it's okay to think, okay, yeah, maybe. But I feel like when you're going through it, you don't think, okay, I need to stop you're thinking, I need to keep going because if you stop, it just ruins things. No, 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 and that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, for, it's just for hard. You to, the only reason why if you stop, like, it's going to ruin things, it depends on your mindset. And I, as I say, every, I, think, I feel like everything in life is always due to your mindset. Yeah. How you carry on, how you move. Like, as I said, God forbid, touch wood, I could break my leg tomorrow. But, how my mindset is set up, that's how I'm going to carry on doing whatever. No, but that, that's a good thing. That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But it shows some of us, because I haven't been down. I, I think I had a moment today, maybe you've noticed, when I heard about the next thing and I had a message and then I was hearing about the shops being closed. And I had a moment today where I did go a bit quiet. I was a little bit like, and I was like, this shit, like, this is getting real. I, only one little moment and I was feeling like a little bit rubbish but then I was like ah, let's just get this done let's just get this done so I got a bit more motivated I came back here I cleaned the room and I told you yeah, we're going to do it we're going to do it but I wanted, I wanted to be spotless I was like, you know, let me take time let me not just take this and it made me think to myself and it went back to my motivation that we had in the morning and afternoon where we was like we were working at the sky things that we should have done a long time ago but we took it took it seriously but um I'm going to finish off um what do you think overall guys with the coronavirus thing um what do you think the outcome's gonna be for us? Sometimes never last. I want to talk people last. Oh, I can't, I can't even say it. I don't know yet. Yeah, we have to wait and see. I, I'm not gonna lie. I think my main thing is that for me, I feel like um, I feel like everyone's reaction has made the situation worse. Yeah, I feel like I'm not scared about the virus itself. I'm scared about how everyone's reacting to it. And the way it's scary that the world has actually stopped 
they've actually locked off schools like obviously for me that's actually such a big thing like march you've stopped schools you've closed them no exams no nothing i think it's just scary the way that the world is actually just paused yeah, like especially, yeah, especially, just stopped yeah. especially deep in that especially people that's in the obviously like as you said the 11 may be not that deep but last, last year last, last year last year of um, university you could be in your third year fam you've probably got some obviously no, that's, a lot of stuff is obviously done online but you may have um a couple i'm not sure how it goes but dissertations yeah. or key lectures or key things that you're meant to be doing obviously some people have um what's the word um when you go out and work yeah, yeah. when you go out um, and work like, no i don't talk about um, um i've got the name because then people are going to have that um, work experience, work experience, and enterprise jobs, exactly. and even, all even teachers, and and even and teachers, teachers training. Like, so a lot yeah, of people yeah. are in their last year. My friend is in a first year teacher training. I think you got to do a full year. She hasn't done it. Yeah, that's like with medicine as well. People who are doing a medicine degree, you need to go. It's placements. You have to go and do your placements. They can't work in hospitals. They can't. So what they're going to do? And like some units as well, they're not even doing graduation. They're just giving them their certificate and going. Kind of miss a bit of experience, like the yeah, experience. Like, uni for no, three yeah. years, five that's, years, four years, four years, however long. Even year eleven as well, though. Like missing GCSEs. Obviously, they think that's left in it, but let's see the part of it that we saw. Let's let's hope to finish off. Let's hope now. What people can do is instead of using this as a bad time. Yeah, use this time that they get as an opportunity to reflect and find family. a way build yeah build with a family build business wise build build mentally do not take things for granted yeah i think that's what is just, just proven like not every day is actually guaranteed every day will be saying oh tomorrow i'll do this tomorrow i'll do that yesterday i was like i'll go nando's tomorrow no, that's, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I said that, I said that as well. I said, oh, we said that, but um, I know it's about to say this, but I said that, I said, let's go eat, Let's go eat, next week, let's go eat. Um, what do you call it? Oh, I don't want to say names. I, I can't say names, but you probably saw it. But anyway, we have friends that work in the NHS, and we won't, it got put in a group, 50% off, and we were like, that's a shout, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, we get that 50% off. It's gone. Bro, it's gone. The move was meant to be yesterday. Yeah, but then, no, 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 but no, but then it was said like I was like, yo, I'll go tomorrow, like because obviously, I because obviously I had on the inside that Monday is gonna be a lock off. I'm like, yeah, we try Saturday, film some stuff, have some time with the family, all that stuff. It was lock off. It was even that deep about cinema. I went to cinema like a couple of days ago to see the Invisible Man, and then we was like, we was gonna try and do it a bit later in the week, and I was the one that was like, no, I really want to see the movie. Good thing we want to see it because yeah, it was a lot of people. Cinema, cinema guy, it was the day before they locked yeah, it off. Yeah, I went to the hospital. I was like, yeah. 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 Oh, was it two years ago? <laughs> yeah, and I went the day before they locked it off. I felt but, very happy with myself. Well, now we've got like, 50 seconds left. So, um. Guys, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Guys. Sing happy birthday to yeah, oh, wash your hands for two minutes. minutes. One minute, if seconds. you are dear, Tough coffee. times never last, only tough people last. Cut the camera. What do they say? What do they say? It's always darkest before it's dawn. Uh, wow, that's kind of cute. Right? Anyway, yeah. as I said, positive, man. Stay positive, positive, keep praying. But not coronavirus positive. And stay quarantined. <laughs> stay quarantined. <laughs> I know it's easier said than done, but trust me, man, it's all about yes. mindset that gets you through stuff. We've been saying about intelligence from day kids, isn't it? Intelligent mind starts, and that's on what? Intelligence mind. On that note, IMD is still going to be rehearsing. We have rehearsal in the morning. Uh, I've got to call him right now. Uh, See you guys. Bye. 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 Skype. Don't worry, we're not we're not doing mass Bye. gatherings. Yeah, yeah. Mass gatherings. Oh, link up, link I don't want I don't want your shooters. Link up. I don't want your shooters, Boris. Link up at Victoria Park, still. <laughs> Thank you.